The next art element that we're going to discuss is texture. Texture is the tactile quality of a work of art. It is what either has actual tactile sensory sensation or uh, just makes us think of tactile sensation. So whenever we're talking about texture, we're talking about something that appeals to our sense of touch. You can have either actual texture, which you could actually touch with your fingers, or you can have um, implied texture where an artist has say painted a surface to appear textured but it's really um, actually quite smooth um, so anything that comes to mind that makes you think of things you might want to touch something that's rough something that's smooth something that's 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 furry glassy wet all of these things are texture just some different ways to think about texture you can uh, take we talked about line um, just a couple lectures ago and uh, you also saw an example of how lines could be kind of piled on top of each other to create a uh, illusion of texture uh, you can do the same thing with shapes um, texture and pattern are actually very closely related uh, because there uh, you know a pattern is anytime you take something and repeat it again and again and again in a um, in a regular way um, and patterns also make textures you know if you look at any kind of texture um, you see pattern in it you can create texture with color you can create texture with value with lights and darks um, and you can create texture uh, to show um, form to show in other words to show the illusion of three-dimensionality one type of texture that uh, I want you to make a note of is a type called trompe l'oeil. Um, this is a type of painting um, that began uh, to be very popular during the Renaissance that are very, very realistic. Let me just go ahead and move to the picture instead of the words <laughs> so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, this looks like you could just reach right out and touch it. Um, you see leather, you see pearls, you see satin, you see a feather, um, and it looks, if you, were, if you were to encounter this painting, it looks so real that you feel like you could just reach out and take that letter right out of the picture. Um, and so the word trompe l'oeil is French for to fool the eye. Um, so this is an example of implied texture. Implied texture is when there's not an actual tactile surface that you can feel. Um, if you were to touch this painting, it would be super smooth. It'd be smooth as glass, but it is implied to look like the texture of leather, pearls, feathers. Now, actual texture, on the other hand, is really there. This is a close-up of Van Gogh's Starry Night, which uh, you've seen already in some of the videos you've been assigned to watch. And I wanted you to see just how thick and textured that paint is. This type of application of paint is called impasto. It's a thick, lumpy application of paint, oftentimes applied with a palette knife instead of a instead of a brush. And uh, when it when it dries. Um, it forms a very rough, bumpy surface. So uh, just to uh, make sure everybody is clear, this is implied texture. It's not actually tactile. Um, and this is actual texture. <laughs>